Hi guys! So it's been quite a while since I filmed a booktube video and if I'm perfectly honest I'm a bit nervous about filming and posting this video because like I said it's been quite a while. I don't know how um, awkward I'm going to be in this first video so I decided to do a book haul because I have bought quite a few books since I stopped filming and even though I've bought more books than this, I decided to show you guys six books. These are the books that I've bought most recently and also the books that I'm most excited about reading. I am already reading one of these, which I will show first, but I hope you guys enjoy this book haul and as usual, if you guys have any recommendations, please let me know. So the first book I'm going to show is the book I'm currently reading and this is The Enchanted April by Elizabeth von Arnhem and this is about four women who go on vacation for a month to Italy to Portofino and I'm not going to say that much more. I am really enjoying this book so far. I think the writing is very nice. It is a very um, inward looking book. It's a book very much about the characters, not so much about plot, but very much about the characters inner thoughts and feelings and I really like that type of book and I'm really enjoying this so far. Speaking of Italy, the second book is also set in Italy and it's a book that I've heard tons about through booktube. It seems to be a very popular book and this is My Brilliant Fan Friend by Elena Ferrante. I'm sure you've all heard very good things about this book. I haven't read it yet. Like I said, all of these other books I haven't read yet. And I'm very excited to start reading a series again because I haven't read a series since I was in high school or whenever I reread Harry Potter. And I'm very looking forward to getting into a series and really getting invested in characters because I don't find I get that very often because I don't read any books that happen to be in a series. So there's four books in this series, the Neapolitan novels, in case you were wondering. So I'm very excited to read this. So the next book I got is also a book that's set in Italy. This is Beautiful Ruins by Jess Walter. It's set in Italy as well as in Hollywood. So one thing that you need to know about me, of course, is that when I was in high school, I was obsessed with Hollywood. I was just obsessed with any book, mostly teen books, that were set in Hollywood and not necessarily that were about a star or an actor but about kind of someone who was in their inner circle. So any kind of book that ha or film that has to do with Hollywood instantly grabs me because of my past obsession. So I'm gonna leave, hopefully I'll find the books that I used to really really like. I think one was called something with the diary in it, like My Teenage Diary, My it was a series, it was by an author, I, I've just thought about this right now so I didn't have time to look it up but I will leave an annotation or I will leave a comment in the down bar that says what I'm talking about but um, there were quite a few books set in, in Hollywood at the time when I was in high school that I really really enjoyed so anything like I said set in Hollywood I'm pretty sure it's going to make me feel really nostalgic. The next book is a collection of short stories and this is called Subtly Worded by Teffy. So the author is Teffy and she was a Russian author and if I understand correctly she was from a really well-known family in St. Petersburg and she wrote and I don't know much about her and I'm very very curious about this because I have never heard about this author or this book before. This is a copy I got from Pushkin Press so I bought this at, um, I think I bought this online but I'm really really love Pushkin Press. I think they do beautiful books and they also publish a lot of really great translated fiction and this is one of those books that I don't know much about but I'm trying to keep it that way so that when I do read it it'll be a surprise. So the next two books I got at one of my favorite bookstores, I would say my favorite Montreal bookstore by a long shot, and this bookstore is called Drawn and Quarterly. It's also a publishing house. They publish graphic novels and their bookstore is beautiful. I will leave a link to their website down below so you can go and peruse their website. Their bookstore is beautiful. It's a beautifully well curated bookstore with beautiful editions. I can't say beautiful enough in describing this bookstore. There's a great selection of books, great selection of graphic novels, and of uh, pu independent publishing works. So I really, really love this bookstore. They also do a lot of author events. So I saw Neil Gaiman through them. I also saw um, Roxane Gay and um, Kate Beaton through them. So I really love that bookstore. So I love buying books from there and, and supporting them. So the first book I got from there is Suddenly A Knock at the Door by Edgar Caret. Edgar Caret is an Israeli author and this is a collection of short stories, very short short stories. Some of the short stories are a page, two pages, I think the longest is like six pages long. I haven't read this yet as with all of these books but I have read the first story and the first story really gripped me. I really liked how the author inserted himself into the short story which kind of pulls you in and um, 
I really liked it. So I don't know why I stopped reading it, but I think I wasn't in the mood for the short stories at the time. But I'm very looking, much looking forward to picking this back up. And I haven't really heard much about this on booktube, so it's definitely a book that I hope other people will read too. And finally, I got a book by a Hungarian author called Laszlo Krasnohorke. So I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing that properly. Even though my grandfather was Hungarian, I have a lot of trouble pronouncing Hungarian names. So this book is called Satin Tango, and from what I understand, it's about a man who goes to a small Hungarian town. Don't know much about it. I, like I said, try not to learn too much about the books I'm about to read. I do have, I have heard a lot of great things about this book, and um, if you have read it, let me know. But um, it's a book that really intrigues me because my family, well, my grandfather was Hungarian and I've never been to Hungary, but of course, you know, when, you're, when your parents or your grandparents come from somewhere, you do usually get interested in where they're from. So I'm really looking forward to reading that for mostly that reason alone, but also because I've heard really great things about this author. So that was my book haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have read any of these books, let me know. If you were obsessed with Hollywood as a teenager, let me know as well so I feel a bit less weird. And also if you guys have any books or um, even any video ideas that you'd like to recommend me doing, if there's anything that you want me to do, any kind of tag or any kind of anything you want me to do on this channel, let me know. I'm trying to think about what kind of book, what kind of videos to make and I'm looking forward to making a lot more videos. So I hope you guys have a really great day and I'll see you guys soon.